The Merrimack College Honors Program is a prestigious program that was established in 2008. As Merrimack College continues to grow, our honors program does as well. We hope you choose to become a member of this community within a community we like to call the Honors Program. Hello, my name is Victoria Robbins. I am a junior at Merrimack studying Communication, Marketing, and Education. I have been in the Honors Program my entire time at Merrimack College. I have lived in the Honors Living Learning Community for three years and could not imagine my time at Merrimack without the Honors Program. I was in your position once before. I know how difficult the college decision can be. Throughout this video, I will provide you with information on the Honors Program to help make your college decision a bit easier. Without further ado, let's begin talking about the four pillars of the Honors Program, the first being community. The Merrimack College Honors Program has been described as a community within a community. In our program, we have a peer mentoring group created by Merrimack Honors students, living learning communities through Honors Housing, access to Honors Commons and the Honors Lounge, as well as a variety of community events held by HSC, also known as Honors Student Council. Living in the Honors LLC is a great experience because you're surrounded by students that are also highly motivated academically. Living in a suite, you have a common room shared with you and your roommates, along with two bedrooms and a private bathroom, which is a great perk of living in the Honors LLC. And as an upperclassman, you get to live in the newly built North Campus. We have six-person suites as well as four-person suites. And the Honors Commons is also a part of the North Campus building, which is a great space for studying and printing and hanging out with your friends. Continuing on, the second pillar of the Honors Program is service. At Merrimack College, service is an area that we take a lot of pride in. Through the Honors Program, students take a social justice class and are encouraged to be involved in Honors Service opportunities, as well as take part in the Honors Student Council Service Group. So social justice was a lot about human rights, equality, um, did a lot about marriage equality, um, interracial marriages, so just kind of those like topics that are like hot seat topics in our nation right now. Um, and it's kind of a nice class because you're able to um, kind of be able to talk about these kind of touchy subjects, but in a welcoming environment. Following service, Merrimack Honors highly values research. Being an honors student, you can apply to go to national honors conferences. These include the National Collegiate Honors Council and the Northeast Regional Honors Conference Council. The Merrimack College Honors Program is associated with the National Collegiate Honors Council, and we bring students to the conferences, uh, to the national conferences um, every fall. And most recently we attended the Seattle conference and we were able to bring eight students. And out of the eight, um, most of them presented at the national level on various subjects. As your senior in the honors program, I had the opportunity to go to the Seattle Washington conference and I was able to present two presentations along with Molly, um, both of them with our efforts in our pre-mentoring program and also in the partnerships we built with the honors program. Aside from these two conferences, students can take part in honors contracts, which essentially turn a non-honors class into an honors class. I did an honors contract for my Intro to Nutritional Sciences class, um, so I actually proposed the whole thing. I actually formed my own nutrition study, so having the opportunity to do a contract kind of gave me the opportunity to be able to work a little more hands-on with my professor. Um, so through doing this, I scheduled weekly meetings with my professor to follow up on where I was with the study, got feedback on the topic, but I got to work more hands-on with the professor. Finally, each honors student will complete an honors capstone project their senior year that they can carry with them through graduate school or into the workforce. So this semester I'm completing my uh, senior capstone on gun violence in elementary schools. 
uh, and how pre-service teachers feel that they're prepared to go in this profession. Um, so I've done a lot of different things for this uh, capstone, um, one of which I invited uh, Mark Barden from the Sandy Hook Promise organization uh, to come speak at Merrimack. Uh, so Mr. Mark Barden came and it was an incredible opportunity. Uh, it was and more than I could have imagined and now I've got students who are coming up to me and interested in trying to implement something at Merrimack uh, so that's been really really cool. Our last pillar of the honors program is leadership. Students are highly encouraged to be involved not only at Merrimack but in the honors program as well. The Merrimack College Honors Program offers honors student council, honors ambassadors, an honors peer mentoring group, and an honors journalist one credit internship. The Honors Program Peer Mentoring Program allows students to help navigate their college experience. From transitioning from your high school experience into your college experience, you get matched with an upperclassman honor student to help you navigate Merrimack's resources and also college life in general. After my first experience being a peer mentor, um, I kind of realized that I had such a passion for helping first year students and, you know, developing them into student leaders. and. Um, really getting them acquainted to not only the program, but to the college as well. They'll expose you to honors program requirements, but also do programming activities with you to really immerse you into the college experience and help you during your first semester at Merrimack. By being a member of the honors program, you are eligible for a number of wonderful opportunities. Honors students are enrolled in small classes, have priority registration, are eligible for research and travel grants, can participate in art and culture field trips, have access to the Honors Commons and Honors Housing, and receive graduation recognition. Now that you have been given this information about the Honors Program, you will probably have some questions stirring in your mind. Some of our Honors students have answered the most common questions that prospective students like yourself have. So I think in terms of um, balancing schoolwork and the honors program and all the other involvements, um, you know, it's not it's not that difficult because you find that when you're doing what you love, you find ways to make your time manageable. I love teaching honors students because and decided to teach an honors class because I find that they're the most curious motivated, prepared, and well-rounded students at the college. And they engage with the material at a much deeper level, even when they're reading on their own and reflecting on the material for assignments. By the time they get into class, we're having conversations at a much deeper level than I would otherwise. And also, it's a much smaller group of students. And so I find that they're a little more open and more actively participate as a result. Typically some of my favorite classes have always been my honors courses because of the small number of students and because of the conversation that can be stimulated between us as students. Um, you'll find that students, yes, we have a great community within the honors program and it's amazing to have that. However, there are so many other students who are involved in so many other things. And that's what's so great about the honors program is that it cultivates the community within the honors program, but also encourages students to get outside that and really become involved in other things. In terms of selecting the students for the honors program here, we're hoping to capture the top 10% of each incoming class here at Merrimack College. So program admission is very competitive here. Last year, the average GPA for all honors students was about a 3.94. Uh, and typically we're looking at students with at least a 3.6 or higher in their uh, high school careers in order to be considered for the program. I've had quite the journey being in the honors program at Merrimack. I've had wonderful professors, fantastic classmates, amazing opportunities, and I've met some of the greatest friends. By joining the Honors Program at Merrimack, I promise you that you will have the time of your life, and while doing so, you will be both academically and personally successful. I hope to see you here soon!